Today I will use the example of crude oil and palm oil in my intermarket analysis to demonstrate how I identify potential upcoming trends and why I believe both are about to move. To help narrow down potential opportunities in other markets, you can apply the techniques that I am about to share. My name is Khan Hao. My work in this channel is to study behavioral science and finance, discover correlation between different markets and uncover potential opportunities. Before we get into this subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And what makes the different markets related or they may influence each other in the other direction. Then we have to compare them. And in this chart, we are seeing both oil, crude oil in yellow is a fossil oil that produce fuel, whereas the palm oil in orange is a form of vegetable oil that produces food for many of us. Importantly, the aspect of this analysis, intermarket analysis, is when we compare their price behavior, we can see some similarity. They move quite in tandem and they pick and also trough around the same period. And down here we can see that the one in yellow, the crude oil, it kind of uh, peak later, but the palm oil peak first and it trough uh, around the same period, it peak around the same period, and then it trough around the same period. Of course, the crude oil is more extreme at this point in time, but during this period in the year of 2022, it peak around the same period. And even now, it stagnated together. And let's study into the crude oil and let's look at what happened to the crude oil here. It has not been doing pretty, or I would say that it's pretty quiet lately. And since the September last year, we could see that the price has been getting narrower and narrower. In this behavior price analysis, when the market started to range, and especially when the range is getting more prolonged like this, what is the market trying to tell us? They are saying that they are pretty lost with its main trend at the moment. And it seems to me that there's a tug of war between the buyer and seller. It created this range over this period. However, when there is a fundamental development started to shift, for example, like news or geopolitical development, it may then break away from this range and started to trend again. An example of a market breaking away from a prolonged range, and let's look at the gold market. And I've been buying on the dollar averaging up in gold since the last financial crisis in 2008. And I know that's a long time. Each time when the gold started to range, it was painful like this. But when it broke above this prolonged range, it trended very nicely. And we can see that happen in the year 2020. There was a period of prolonged range from 2008, somewhere around here, far away. It went up, it entered into prolonged wait, range. It was a long wait, but when it broke above, it gave me a very nice trend. And this couple of years since the COVID started, it once again range again. And when it broke above in 2024, it gave me again a very nice trend. And let me just put this up here. And we saw a prolonged range. And let's going back to our topic for today, how to use intermarket analysis between crude oil and palm oil. And let's go back to the crude. And since I'm a little bit clueless on the main trend for the crude oil, let's study into the palm oil to see if we can derive any clue for the crude oil. And this is the crude oil. It's kind of a range bound. And let's look at the palm oil here. And technically, we are seeing that the palm oil is also ranges for quite a while. And it is getting much narrower and more prolonged. What we can see that, again, a more prolonged the range is when it breaks either way, the greater the trend will be. And at this point, 
I am also quite clueless on which direction a palm oil is likely going to break. Then I will keep analyzing. I would like to also examine its monthly chart and it's always good to look at different perspective. It will become clearer to me because of, let's look at the monthly chart here. And as I analyze on the monthly chart where I'm pretty clueless on the weekly, but as I switch to the monthly chart and everything just pops to me, and what I'm seeing here is that I saw at the close of August, and I saw that this Hamel is so distinct and so clear, and I suspect technically that it may try to resist here again, and ultimately it may break and go. And again, when the range is getting more and more prolonged, when it breaks on either side, in this case on the upside, and I believe that the trend is going to move up stronger. It becomes clearer to me here because of this hammer. And the likelihood for the palm oil should break above this range. And of course, this upward momentum should come with some positive fundamental development. And how about the trading strategy for the crude oil? In the short term, I believe that the selling pressure will persist. I will continue to sell into strength. It's nearly there, it's nearing there. But based on what we have just discussed or studied earlier, the real deal to me is to buy into dips when opportunity arises. So when will the market start moving and break above its range? The day will come like a thief and technically it is pointing up. And what we can do is to understand their current fundamental developments and I would encourage that for the physical traders, if you're trading in the crude oil or palm oil, you're doing this business, I look forward to your comments if you are already noticing any fundamental shift that is emerging. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you on what is about to come. Really happy that I stay through this tutorial. You have many great training weeks ahead.